Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's review is on the new Lorac Pro Palette number no. three. I've been excited to do a review on this. The palette itself is very much the same as the other two, except this one is beige in color, but it's still the cardboard very slender rectangle shape. I always love the quality of the Lorac mirrors. You could totally put your whole makeup on using just that mirror, which is always a plus. And these are the colors you get in this palette. It's the same setup as the other two, where you get eight matte at the top and eight more shimmery metallic type shades down here at the bottom. And I actually, I have my other two in front of me. So just to hold them up in comparison, the this is the first one. So the first one has a mix of warm and cool tones. This is kind of more for somebody that wants some warm tones, wants some deeper tones, wants some cool tones, kind of a good mix of everything in this first palette. And then in the second palette, I think generally it's more cool and it has some of those jewel tones in there. Um, while the third palette, I think, leans more warm and leans more in the neutral tones. You know, lots of beigey, um, warm, tan colors, kind of those nice crease transition shades. As far as the quality, I think they're exactly on par with the other formulas and the other two palettes. Nothing seemed to change in my opinion. I've been using them just fine. They're absolutely gorgeous. One thing, if you haven't ever used or worked with Lorac eyeshadows, they are very soft. So there is a lot of kick up when you put your brush into these eyeshadows, but they are so pigmented. I mean, so soft, so buttery. They blend like a dream. I think that if you're a beginner, you might find this to be a little bit of a learning curve because they are so pigmented. So dip your brush in very lightly and just build up color. That's the best advice I can give you for eyeshadows that are just so rich in pigment. Sometimes when we're starting out with makeup, we kind of like the ones that don't have such high pigmentation because you know, you can just easily layer and you won't make a mistake. This one you can probably go a little too crazy for, but definitely dip your brush in lightly and you'll be just fine. But let's get into the colors and I'm gonna swatch everything as well. I, if you can't already tell, I love this palette. It is another favorite of mine. I love the other two. I think out of all the palettes, I've always loved number one a little bit better than I liked number two. Um, but number three, I, although when you look at it, you may not think nothing is unique about it. You know, you can definitely find these shades and other palettes from other companies. It's not like I saw this and I thought, oh, how different it is neutral. It is something for someone for every day, but that's what I love about it everything I could possibly need is in here and these warmer tones scream to me. I mean, this terracotta shade, I pretty much could have bought this whole palette just for this one shade because it's gorgeous. I mean, look at these shades, they're beautiful. So let me swatch um, the colors here and I'll start with the matte shades. First one we have here is an ivory matte shade. This is a very nice shade to use as a brow bone highlight for fairer skin tones, even up to deeper skin tones. Moving on to the next shade, which is Canvas. This is a matte, I would say like a light tan or a beige shade. This is a great transition shade for fair skins. Um, it just helps blend out any other colors that you may put on your eye or just use this as a complete base. The next one is Cool Taupe. This is a light brown shade that is great for a transition. It's also a good one for the outer corner. You can use this as a liner. Next up is Pink Nude. I love this shade for all over the lid. It really is more of like a pinky skin tone color. I like this for every day, I put on a little primer and then I just put this all over my lid when I'm looking for kind of like a no makeup makeup look. On to Clay, this one is more of a warmer pinky tone to cool taupe. This is also another awesome transition shade. It just blends everything out 
and I do use this probably most out of the whole palette. On to my favorite color in this whole palette is terracotta just because it's that gorgeous brownie mustard shade. I don't have this shade in any of my other palettes or single eyeshadows. I use this one a lot. Just adds some nice warmth to your eye look. And the second to last one we have here is dark brown. This one's perfect for the outer corner to add some deepness and smoke it out even at the lash line. This is like just a no brainer to have in any palette and you can use this in so many ways. And lastly for the mattes is Jet Black, which is exactly, again, what this one is as well, is just a matte black. Now moving on to the last row, which is all shimmers and probably the most exciting part of the whole palette because you get that glitteriness, that shine to your eye. I love this row and there's so many gorgeous colors. So the first one is light gold and it is a true light gold. It has a little bit of a neutral tone to it. You could even use this as a face highlight if you wanted to. A little hard with the size of the pan, but a gorgeous shade. Moving on to almond pearl. This one's a unique one. It's kind of like a pale taupe shade. It's got some neutral gold in there as well a nice sheen i love this color a lot for a um, all over the lid shade now on to medallion which out of every single shade in this palette i find is different in formula this one if you can tell by the swatch is a little bit chunkier has more glitters it's definitely nothing like the other formulas in this palette and the other two palettes um this one is my least favorite just because of the texture of it onto light pewter oh i love this one this one is a taupey like a pewter purple kind of sheen. This is a gorgeous all over the lid. You could just use this all over the lid, slap on some mascara and be done. It's beautiful. Onto Amethyst, which is kind of the most pop of color out of this whole neutral palette. And this actually comes off in the swatch a little bit more of like a brown, purple, rusty shade. It does look more of a true purple in the palette but it does come off a little bit more brown, but still a gorgeous shade to use to deepen your look up. Onto Rose Bronze, which is very self-explanatory. It is a rosy bronze shade. I love anything bronze related, so I definitely get a good use out of this one. Now down to the last two of the shimmer shades, there is Dark Mocha, and this one is probably the least shiny. I think this one just has a little bit of sheen to it, but it comes off more a satin um, shimmery shade than like a true shimmer. And lastly is Truffle, which this one in the pan looks more like a gray, but does have some warmth to it, as you can see in the swatch. And this one, along with Dark Mocha, has the least amount of shimmer. It has more of like a satin finish with just a touch of shimmer in there. And those are the swatches of the palette. Hopefully that's a good representation of the shades that are in here. Um, truly do love this palette. Do I think it's something you may need to run out and get? Um, I don't know. It really depends on what you already have in your collection. This to me is a perfect neutral everyday palette. So if that's something you're looking for, definitely go for it. It's gorgeous. If you already have a lot of neutral palettes, you may want to pass on this. If you're someone who just loves to collect makeup, maybe you already have the other two pro palettes and you love Lorac eyeshadows, definitely pick it up. I'm not disappointed in it at all. I'm glad to have it in my collection. And honestly, when I'm traveling, these are the palettes that I want to take. And if you really wanted to have a ridiculous amount of options, even if you took all three or even just two of these, they're so thin that it doesn't take up much space. I mean, I have some palettes that are pretty much two of these together and kind of have some weight to it. So you can kind of mix it and match and I think that these hold up well over time. They do get a little dirty because of the material that is on this cardboard, but it doesn't matter. It's all about function in my mind and the quality is great. The price is right for a palette that gets 16 shadows in there and they're such good quality. So overall, I give this palette two big thumbs up. I absolutely love it. 
definitely check it out if you are interested in it. If you like this review, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, you know where that button lives. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Now let's get to our blush, the same concept. You can go in with a cream one and top it off with a powder to really lock